Hey guys, welcome back to the Confirmant RM YouTube channel, getting ourselves back in another two-minute technicals video looking at BTC. So, you just sold your whole bag because, you know, we got a retracement. Well, guess what? Things be how they be, and resistances get met and broken. So, let's go into our chart. Let's see exactly what Confirmant has been saying. And, nonetheless, there was a lower side that we could have looked at on this. We were going more bullish. But you could go and use the bottom side of both these two trends right here. And you can see that basically, like literally, if you go like this, we were basically met exactly where we were. We were talking about this this problem region. Like we obviously gave a little bit more of a bullish scenario yesterday with XRP and everyone else uh, getting this nice little push back up through around like uh if we were uh, go, getting itself through 29,333 but we have a heavy support and heavy resistance there around that box zone we were talking about that yesterday as well and what we see happening with bitcoin now is getting that sharp retracement back down to the bottom end of the zone here hitting uh around that 28 837 and it's literally that the same zone over here that we hit on august 4th the same zone we were hitting here on august 1st and the 31st of july and if we just kind of zoom out a little bit do the higher end of this spectrum you can see it still comes out to uh look at that the middle of september like you know like the first and a half week of september and we were talking about that last night if you guys remember i was giving you guys some of the bullish scenarios that could happen but you know, we were seeing that sharp decline yesterday. Remember, I was saying being weary, holding that $29,100 region, $29,070, and kind of judging if we could hold that, you know, we could get some nice retracement back up to the top of the region around $29,600. Just about to get a swing back up. You know, we saw that right over here, but, you know, it, it was going to be a weird, weary day. But regardless, we see the push back down. So, what do we do from here? So, this was the worst case, worst case scenario of having that sort of pushback. You kept using these two wicks as your kind of uh, basis here. You could even use the top over here, and you can see that it's a nice diagonal going across. So you had that sort of support, but now we're at it. So you lost a short term there at 29,070, and now you're on the short term support around 28,837. So in a, this situation, uh, you're, when you're looking for max pain, and you know it's, the RSI looks absolutely terrible now, as you guys know, if we come over here, I mean, just getting rejected and condensing, condensing, and usually when we see this happen, we get a nice sharp, sharp decline down. So I'm I'm just keeping my my me on myself on my toes, and I am looking for break. If I'm going, like I have these two regions here. If I, if it definitely falls through this region of this 28.9, like 28.836, I'm, I'm going to be looking for that 28.601 first. And then that second one is literally there at 27,900, 28,000 almost on the dot. And I think that's what our chart shows as well. Um, this recent bottom, if we get if we actually fall through continually, it shows right there around 28,000, uh, completing a sort of like wave three of this, of this fall. Uh, it's definitely interesting to see us come back to this region obviously we can kind of neander here if we get some recovery and uh just kind of bounce around until um the middle of september as you can see it's not really showing it because we're here in the hour chart we're here the four hour it would actually show it as you can see uh that's around september 8th yeah there we go so never mind a little bit easier so the first week of september um neandering sideways but what's happening and the way this is condensing and getting smaller and smaller and from it in uh, an uptrend uh, could prove to itself to actually come down here and retest around that uh, 28,000 region 27.9. So it's something to keep on the back burner. So like if, if you're here trading, you're just, you're holding stop losses and you're just trying to play this movement. Obviously if you're going long on it, it doesn't really matter. But if you're trying to do the ups and downs and make money in between, you're looking at the problem area zones. Like my stop loss for this region is around that 28,644 because you know, that, that, that drop afterwards will be quite significant. Um, right now, it's just a sitting there at around, let's see how much percent. I think it's 2%. No, that's 1%. So 1% is not terrible. But uh, you know, once it falls through this region, that'll be an additional 2% on top of that. So about 3% drop. So 
just looking at that, obviously not too, too crazy of a drop for today. If you want to consider all things considered, uh, today is the 16th kind of come back over here. Um, go ahead to daily. Uh, we're sitting at eh, approximately only 0.91% down in Bitcoin. That's not anything crazily major, but it just makes sense to come back down there. Cause you know, hit look here on the, on the daily, you can, you can see how it makes sense, how it was moving around, hitting the bottom of that region, coming back down to that hundred day moving average. Uh, cause it couldn't get through <laughs> the 20 and 50 and it just came right back down for support. Um, so all bets are on that. If we fall through that, we're, 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 we're going, we're going for that 200 day moving average. Obviously that first stop being that, uh, 2,800, $28,000, 28, uh, so 27, nine. And then it's down to that, um, 27, four, uh, really, um, indicating that full move, which I think would actually be from here to here. Um, let's see from that, that, that spot. Pretty much look at that so you have your uh, wedge with the beginning and then the current and that's how usually I, I i go about those but we're losing we're losing the uh we're, we're getting a bearish turn here on the macd uh we're, we're, we're pushing through on the negative side here again so it looks like a little more hurt might be coming but you know you're, you're looking at those numbers you're looking at 28 839 and we're just seeing how that holds obviously for um continuation it's not bad but we just need to see some conviction follow through for the rest of the week. You know, we have two weeks into the middle of September, uh, actually three technically. And um, we'll just see how it maneuvers on. Otherwise, um, breaking this whole trend down and actually reversing for the worse would actually right now be indicated by not only coming down here to 28.644 and com coming down for a hard, hard wave. Um, would be also following through this uh, 100 day moving average and coming right down there that 27,000. Um, definitely intrigued to see it not uh, hold it for a, uh, a support there. Um, we were all kind of a little optimistic on holding that, you know, and things can change, things can happen like this. Uh, tends to happen, you know, we're, we didn't get the crazy bearish summer in the beginning. So I guess now we're getting it towards the end, right? Before we get into September, October, where things start to turn around and we get that, um, that craziness. Cause we actually had a good summer. I'm not going to lie. So it makes sense that the fall has to come around, give us a correction, scare everyone, and then start moving forward. But hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Hope this kind of helps you understand what's going on. You know, this, this stuff uh, is there to shake everybody out. Obviously, like I said, depends on if you're there long term, short term, whatever you're trying to do. Um, obviously, if you're long for Bitcoin, you know, this doesn't really mean anything to you. But, uh, you know, people like me like going to play these swings, you know, and exactly how things work. Um, right now, still just playing the range. Just came back to the bottom of it. But if it falls through that, um, that, 28,839 and really, really breaks through 20, 28,750. Uh, you got some warning bells going off. It's saying here around 27,300. And uh, on the four hour, that's showing there's not even a support there. So you only have the one day and maybe the weekly. The weekly actually around there too is around 27,900. So that's that first target and then the second target. So I mean, Makes sense to me, guys. But I hope you guys are having a good one. Like I said, remember, none of it's financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. And I will see you guys on the next one.